Um, good afternoon. I'm uh, Mark Bryant, the Public Information Officer for the Monroe County Health Department. Um, turns out we're having a bonus uh, Facebook Live update. Um, we thought it was going to be the Unified Command would be having a normal uh, Wednesday uh, news conference day. Uh, when we learned they had canceled, we decided to go ahead and just have uh, our normal uh, Facebook Live update. Uh, normally you would see Dr. Randy Murphy here. Uh, because this was not planned, she was actually uh, in the field doing what she's supposed to do. She is a world-class epidemiologist, so she is out there uh, working uh, with some different departments uh, on our COVID-19 uh, response. Before um, I get into uh, any numbers and stuff, um, I'm going to ask uh, Amanda Arnold, uh, who directs our WIC uh, Supplemental Nutrition Services. Uh, she has uh, some information for you. Just one moment. Thank you, Mark. Uh, like you said, my name is Amanda Arnold. I am the director of the WIC program here in Middle County. Um, just a couple of updates for everybody. As y'all know, we have since the COVID-19 response started, WIC's response was to um, do a lot of our certifications and our appointments over the phone so that you guys don't have to get out and get your sweet babies and children out um, and stay home as much as possible. So we are allowed to continue that through the month of June. So it was to end the end of this week, but now they've extended it to the end of next month. So please, if you have a WIC appointment, if you um, are needing formula, or if you just had a baby or just found out you were pregnant, please know that we are still here for you. You will just call any of our clinics and they can um, talk you through that. So um, please be aware that we're here for you. Another thing that normally happens this time of year is our income guidelines are set again by the, the federal government. They're normally out, but they have not been. So we're going to, we've been authorized to continue our current um, income guidelines. If you have any questions about if you meet the income guidelines, please call any of our clinics. Um, the, one of the main numbers we have here is 251-690-8829. Again, that's 690-8829. We'll be glad to kind of check with you, see if you meet our income guidelines and other um, WIC requirements. So again, WIC is open. We are here. We're ready to talk to you on the phone. So give us a call and we can get everything taken care of that way. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, Amanda. Um, because of today's um, segment was not uh, planned, uh, Dr. Murphy did not have the opportunity to uh, answer the questions from uh, the media and our Facebook uh, fans. So uh, those will be held over until tomorrow. But I did want to give you uh, the basic um, statistics that, that we normally uh, be going out. Um, as the latest numbers uh, from the John Hopkins uh, University website, uh, for worldwide cases, we're at uh, 5.6 million. For cases in the United States, just under 1.7 million. Worldwide deaths, we're at 352,674 deaths in the United States, uh, 99,674. And from the Alabama Department of Public Health website, um, we've got 15,775 cases in Alabama and 581 deaths. Now for the uh, patient characteristics information uh, that Dr. Murphy and her uh, team uh, put out each day uh, this morning, uh, for Mobile County, we're at 2,064 cases. Of uh, those, uh, 227 have been hospitalized and 112 uh, uh, Mobile County residents have died from COVID-19. Uh, we're at 15.6% uh, of those were healthcare workers uh, who have been affected. 14.9 uh, are residents of uh, long-term care facilities and 7.9 are employees of long-term care facilities. Um, I won't run through all the other uh, demographics. Uh, you can always uh, check um, our Facebook page and our mchd.org website uh, if you want to get that uh, background information. Uh, some other inf uh, data that came from this. Um, we've started uh, 
uh, discussing uh, presumed recovered. That's a new category that the ADPH began. Uh, right now, uh, in Mobile County, 53% of COVID-19 patients are presumed recovered. Uh, that is a patient uh, who has for 14 days or more since they tested positive if they were not hospitalized, or it's been 32 days or more since the patient tested positive if they were hospitalized or if hospitalization is unknown or missing. Uh, any patients who died with COVID are excluded from this calculation. And like, again, you can go to either one of our websites to get that. Uh, one other point um, from today, uh, among the COVID-19 uh, patients uh, with known hospitalizations, 37% uh, required intensive care and 21% required mechanical ventilation. Uh, of the 97 patients, of, of the, all who have died, 97 uh, died in the hospital and 15 have died in the long-term uh, long care facility. Well, with, without any additional questions, uh, for today, that'll be about it. Again, uh, we'll be back tomorrow at 2.30. Uh, hopefully, with Dr. Murphy will be back. We'll be able to answer those questions. Uh, so please, you can either send them to us through Facebook or you can email me directly at mbryant, B-R-Y-A-N-T, at mchd.org. And thank you. We'll see you tomorrow.